Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if y'all are new. This is another general reading for the sign of Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you're a cross watcher, welcome. This is a message from your guide. Sit back, relax, take a chance. Y'all can smash that like button or leave a comment down below. Just don't forget to make sure that you and your little monkey butt are subscribed to the channel for more content and for more of me. I love and appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and get right into this reading here. So movement, choices, decisions. Movement, choices, decisions. You've got a choice here at your hand, you guys. You've got a choice here at your hand. Third eye chakra, number six. Give us one more. And wisdom, number five. So you have two of pentacles, the third eye chakra, and the hierophant card. There's a very simple message here. Where are you headed next, right? Where do you see your purpose? Where is your purpose, right? And where are you establishing yourself in this next period of your life? This is a brand new reality here. Bottom of the deck is authority, number four, hope, number 17, and spiritual union. This is a brand new, it's not only emotional, but it's physical, it's spiritual, it's a it's a divine union of sorts, right? Coming into your life through the choices that you make. Spirit really wants you to be clear here with your intention, with the wisdom card. You know exactly what needs to be done. Some of you are needing to, to truly walk away from something here, leave something in the past, leave something behind. And I almost feel as though you have a physical guide as well as a spiritual guide trying to lead you in this direction. There's something very physical that is that is being sent to you by a spirit guide and then there is your spiritual third eye wisdom and knowledge that is also being heightened. You're going off onto a new path here. You're going off and doing something that may be off of the beaten path, may be different than what your friends or your family may be doing. But it's the movement, choice, and or decision that you make that's going to affect this. Because again, you're taking the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding that you've had from your past experiences and you're moving forward. You're headed towards what is the sun for you, right? What is this happiness? What? Where is my joy? Where is my peace in life? And to be honest with you, I really feel like your in, your intuitive nature has already been hinting and trying to show you and tell you, but it's about making a logical, rational decision here about the next phase in your life. Where do you see yourself going? And what is the choice for you? What is this decision for you? For some of you, this is this is a romantic decision. For others of you, this is plain and simply a financial decision. The chariot, yeah. Making a bold move in a new direction here. This is this is following your purpose, right? This is an ending of an error, of an era, I should say. Not an error, <laughs> an era. Death card. 
Yeah, King of Swords, because you are quite literally living authentically. You have the Emperor right after that. You have the King of Wands, the King of Swords, Death card with the Emperor, all at the bottom of the deck, showing the authenticity. This is you following a purpose. And you're following the plan. It's like your, your, your life plan that's been laid out for you. It's like you're finding that and you're allowing yourself to move forward in the energy. This chariot, it's, it's like you're truly focused on your ambitions. You're truly focused on um, your purpose. And there's this protection energy that's coming in as well with the decision that's being made. Show us more here for Capricorn with movement choices and decisions. Yeah, four of wands. Come on now, this is Aries energy. This is signing new contracts and allowing yourself to... Enjoy the fruits of your labor, the chariot, the four of wands. It's like house, home, car, um, your job, which you do for a living, six of cups, six of swords. For a lot of you, this is truly following your intuitive nature, right? This is you following a long, a long time dream, a long time goal in your life. Something that you've thought about for a very long time, something that you've thought about in childhood, or at least from childhood. This is a union coming into your life because you're allowing, like you're allowing yourself to go in that direction. You're allowing yourself to, to enjoy the fruits of your labor here. Give us one more. This is a contractual energy. For some of you, um, this is a relationship. For others of you, this is like, your, this is your purpose, right? This is your purpose here in life. Queen of Cups love so the queen of cups here is is cancerian energy so f again representing family home that stability the contractual energy a lot of you are, are um gaining a partner here for some of you your home life is changing for others of you again this is about following your purpose this is an intuitive nature here for for some of you, this is about speaking, like intuitive speaking, like giving the word. Bottom of the deck is a page of wands. Yeah, the messenger. It's like it's like a prophetic messenger. Page of wands, the knight of swords. Yo, I can't. I can't. Can did I? Okay. Listen to the sounds here in my heart. <laughs> uh page of wands and the knight of swords come on now the prophetic messenger some of you are actually stepping into a finding like a power a new psychic ability the melody i start but can't complete listen to the sounds from deep within Tell us about the third eye chakra. Psh, King of Wands energy. I really like this energy, you guys. You want to know why? This is energy of um, creation, inspiration, right? And this is happening through, again, your purpose. A lot of you are finding an inspired energy. You're following your intuitive nature. For some of you, this is going after a relationship. Others of you, you are asking, you know, this person, you may be the masculine in that part. For others of you, this is happening across the board. Like you're getting, you know, a new person, you're, you're stepping into your, your power, business opportunity, whatever it is. It's, it's an inspired energy, King of Cups, Justice and the Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is a new contractual energy. You now have a true pair here uh, coming out with bottom of the deck energy showing that there is something lurking, right? There's a there's a pair or a match lurking in your life ready to come in. Um, and this is going to be contractual. This is some sort of karmic justice or blessing. Tell us more here about the third eye chakra for... Capricorn. Yeah. The six of cups. Absolutely. I love that the six of cups is actually coming out once again, because again, this is you being inspired to follow your hopes, your dreams, your wishes. This is um, a very like, childhood childlike energy that I keep getting off of this six of cups, really feeling very um, emotional in a sense. Like this is, this is 
it's a choice in love. It's a choice in a feel good energy. Bottom of the deck is a 10 of wands, three of cups, seven of wands. I almost feel like there are burdens on your back, things that you that been holding on to or have been carrying around um, for some strange, odd reason. Uh, but it, it almost feels like you've been blocking this feeling because of others, right? Three of Cups, you've been blocking this feeling because of the environment, the community, those that are around you. Give us one more here for, yeah, look at this. Something has literally been wiping you out. You have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. And you've been thinking about, do I need to leave? Do I need to let this go? Do I need to move in this direction? Do I need to do this new job? Do I need to quit? Do I need to, what? This is your confirmation. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. This shit has got you feeling like overwhelmed, overworked, underpaid, frustrated, irritated, annoyed. Whether it's a person, yeah, look at this. Three of Cups, Seven of Wands, Three of Swords. It's the same energies. It's the confirmation that spirits, like I said, what I said. And if these people around you, the environment around you is toxic, don't fight it. Don't try to protect that pe protect those people by keeping them in your energy space. It's the death card was literally at the bottom of the deck. It's time to let it go. High priestess, what is your intuition telling you? Right? What is this what is this um message directly trying to to tell you personally? And what are you being shown in your own personal life, your own personal endeavors? What are you being shown that's giving you the confirmation that you may not necessarily be even listening to, or you may be ignoring the signs? Um, uh, yeah, you know. Ten of Pentacles. Yes. You have the, the, the freaking higher font wisdom card with the Ten of Pentacles. You guys are stepping onto a journey that is legacy. This is legacy. This is building a long-term um, fulfillment relationship foundation. It's legacy energy. Ten of Pentacles with wisdom. It's like you're taking your knowledge, your wisdom, which you know, and you're, you're taking it on your own venture, but you're gaining your own treasure chest. You're starting your own, your own shiz, you know? Yeah. Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, nine of wands and the sun. You may be a little bit apprehensive um, on doing this fully, completely, wholly, but this is about trusting that that internal feeling. That's about trusting your intuitive nature. It's about trusting where you, you know, again, being practical about the situation as well. Ace of freaking cups. Come on now. Come on now, you have the Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, trying to show you here again, something that's going to be very fulfilling. You're already picking up on this information intuitively, psychically. You you are having this inner wisdom, inner knowledge, and you know, you have the third eye coming out here. So it's really confirmative that you know exactly what to do. It's about trusting that. It's about trusting that, okay? And to be honest with you, you're being blessed here with a lot of prosperity. Um, for some of you, you're, you're going to be stepping into like this jackpot, like energy, knight of swords, five of swords, eight of cups. Yeah, some of you are actually fighting um, the thought process. And what I mean by fighting the thought process is kind of over talking yourself. Um, and... Uh, and what I mean by over talking yourself is like talking yourself out of doing something that you know you're supposed to be doing, right? Because you see where happiness lies, but it's like, I'm going to, because remember this bottom of the deck energy. So it's like this perpetuating energy of I'm going to talk myself out of this situation because of this or because of this or because of this. What about this? What about instead of doing what I know needs to be done? Eight of cups underneath of that is nine of wands with the star. Yes. Following that feeling, that deep internal feeling, that guidance system. Give us one more here for the Hierophant or Wisdom, number five. Give us one more here with the Ten of Pentacles and Ace of Cups, please, Spirit. Give us one more here. Okay, so you have the Five of Pentacles. The Nine of Cups came out sp splitting the deck with the Two of Pentacles as well. Some of you are concerned about material and personal possessions. Some of you are very concerned about material and personal possessions. Spirit wouldn't bring certain things to you 
if you weren't able to handle it. It's important for you to recognize that, right? And it's important for you to recognize that enjoying your life as well, but it's it's also important to recognize maybe overindulgence and making the choice or decision being practical here as well. Very intense, you guys. You guys got me, got me going and going and going. Let's clarify a little bit. I'm going to stay down here for a second with this Hierophant Energy Wisdom. With the Five of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. We're going to clarify this Five of Pentacles energy here for the Collective of Capricorn, please, Spirit. Let's clarify this Five of Pentacles energy against the Hierophant or the Wisdom card. Cause it's all in my head. I think about it over and over again. Higher font. The higher font. The hermit. This is something that you like. You you're clearly in deep thought about. You have judgment. Nine of wands. Queen of wands. Show us more here. With the five of pentacles. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Okay, so there's this, it's this thought of about, um, there's like scaries here. That something may not work out or something may become too burdensome. Kind of watching things being as they are. It's it's time to grow. It's like time to to prune, to pick, and to grow. But almost like this fear of not being successful is here. But that's definitely not the case. Yeah, you have the world. It's a new cycle in your life, my love. My loves, all of you here. It is a brand new cycle. You're complete, like you've completed this task in your life. I freaking love this. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And it's time for you, us, to graduate forward, right? It's time for more. And that doesn't always necessarily mean just physically, materially. It means in love. It means in your job. It means in your purpose. I'm um, in fulfilling that purpose. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to say this is, this is truly about making the choice to be strong and make, make that decision that you know you need to make. All right. Very nice. We're going to close this out with an angel's answers. Angel spirits and guides, thank you so much for this beautiful message. Let's close this this out. Close this message out for Capricorn, summarizing Venus and Jupiter, please. Peaceful resolution. Give us one more here, please, spirit. Thank you. And the situation will improve. All right, my loves, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. Look at that. Bottom of the deck is abundance with be assertive and look for a sign and perfect timing. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for spending some of your day with me. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll speak to you all in the next one.